for people with a brain. Marvel's Avengers is a chilled glass of unflushed toilet water. Something many of us wish wasn't still the case. With every patch, they scoop a couple of the brown balls out of the glass, but that's not stopping defenders from drinking it. But what's really ridiculous is that they'll turn to the camera, smile, and say, Ooh, Ooh yummy, yummy, yummy crap. crap. Now, to me, this game's greatest sin is that it didn't go full on bad. The meme potential for so bad it's good is through the roof. This game is just mediocre. You know that song, Unforgettable? This is the opposite of that. It's forgettable. It's the Marvel game with only two villains and no Marvel locations. The one where they're all ugly. Please, make it stop. I could talk about how campaigns still can't be replayed. But when that feature finally arrives and people realize how little playtime Avengers actually get in an Avengers single player, well, it won't change the fact that they still defended this toilet juice. You can find a new mask, but that clown makeup don't rub off so easy. I heard recently that Stan Lee sent a video to the developers before he passed. What am I going to say? What, what am I going to tell me what I'm going to say? Comment in the comment section what you think I'm going to say. And if you get it right, I will heart that comment. This is a Marvel game where Hulk cannot pick up cars. No, for real. Kate Bishop is who they've selected as the first DLC hero to be released three months after launch. With Black Friday and holiday season rolling around, y'all gonna end up with a lot more confused fans. But that must have been Crystal Dynamics' plan. You can only play for Thor as 10 minutes in the single player campaign, and then during his iconic side missions, you don't go to Asgard, and it can effectively be summed up like this. It me, Thor. Actually, I am Thor. Wait a minute. Green footprints? It was Loki the whole time. Wow. To be continued in like five months, maybe. Y'all really did Thor like that. Thor's your most interesting character. Iron Man kicks ass, but he's just parallel universe Batman. Kick ass, Dr. Jekyll. Kick ass, super soldier. Kick ass, super spy. But y'all went with teenage Mr. Fantastic? But nowhere near as smart, even if you try to make everybody else dumb to make her look better. I am Iron Man. What? <laughs> what the hell? What? <laughs> I don't think Crystal Dynamics gets it. This property might as well be alien to them because this is just another job for them. One Marvel will apparently let them keep no matter how hard they tarnish this brand. You think I give one hopscotching shit how much you love Kate Bishop? Comment and tell me all about it and drive up engagement on this video. Games journalist for Forbes, Paul Tassie, agrees. I do not think it was the best idea to have this first post-launch hero be Kate Bishop. If only there were more bankable, recognizable characters to, oh, oh, wait a minute, there are. If only there were like outfits that people would actually want to buy in this game. Oh, but, but none of them are here. Marvel locations, pfft, never heard of them. But listen, I always remind people, I'm just a guy with a channel, boy. I'm not a YouTuber trying to lie to you and be squeaky clean and inoffensive so that brands will promote me. I'm not trying to make money off of you either, even though I respect the hustle. I'm a gamer that wanted a fun game to play. I'm looking for an escape, an outlet. You know, some people drink heavily, some people are way into sports. I play games, and I'll be honest about this one and other games' failings. This isn't a my expectations are too high scenario. As I've said, even with the game breaking bugs, progress wiping glitches aside, it's the bizarre direction that this game has taken and the poor communication that dooms this title. But you know who 
actively aids in killing this game faster? Mindless Defenders. Most people will play this and think, This game sucks. Okay, now say, like, I wanna suck you. And then, they'll uninstall and go play something better. But some people may think, is this supposed to suck this bad? And they'll go online hoping to find maybe a developer statement or maybe people pushing for patches or fixes so that the game can potentially suck less. But you know what they're gonna find instead? The unpaid NPCs slurping away. So I come across a video that's saying, Doctor Strange is coming to Marvel's Avengers sooner than you think, all caps by the way. So naturally I'm like, no, he isn't. And I watch his video. This YouTuber named Kid Annie claims in his video that this indistinct red cape behind Maestro must be the Sorcerer Supreme's cloak, even though there are no defining features to definitively distinguish it as the cloak of levitation. Whatever, he's entitled to his own opinion and clickbait. He does, however, invite people to comment with their opinion, something he most likely doesn't actually want, but has to say because when you're hungry for views, you gotta drive up that engagement. But Kyle decided, I'm gonna comment on that bad boy. Kyle writes, I totally understand fake ass content for views, but do you honestly believe this? It's two and a half months post launch and there are no new heroes or villains. Earliest you're getting Hawkeye is, January? With Black Panther to follow. What is soon to you? March? That's four months from now. Bro, get a grip. <laughs> Kid Annie responds, I actually try to help people out here a light. Oh no. It's more than you have ever done. No, I'm just stating my personal opinion and theory. You don't have to say negative stuff like that a light. Everyone wants view, and I'm just following my dream, and I put a lot of effort into my videos. Seriously, it's 2020. You need to love yourself, then you can appreciate things around. Wait a minute. I don't agree with your opinion in the comment section where you ask for people's opinions, and suddenly the year is relevant, and I don't love myself or appreciate things because you're wrong and refuse to admit it. If your definition of soon is four to five months, I'm glad for you. But I believe you'll find that me and my homies over here in reality, we don't believe that kind of stuff. Okay? No. Mm-mm. No disrespect, but this dude didn't even recognize the potential War Machine helmet in that trailer. We did that during the live reaction when the video first went. I'm, you know, I'm just, you know, it him goddamn. And did you also hear how I said potential? Because Crystal Dynamics is probably deliberately, not definitively, saying, hey, these characters will be coming in case they don't end up coming. If they wanted to definitively prove this was Strange's cloak, they could have put the Eye of Agamotto dangling from it. It could have had the gold trim that you typically see in the comic version of this cloak. But it doesn't have any of that, my dude. It doesn't have any of that. Hit that. The reality, however, is that it stops being funny and gets sad real fast. If you're a shill and you were out here pretending that this save erasing game was worth the price even before it got cut down to $26 depending on where you are, if your response to a looter with bad loot is, and I quote, let's go, then you're lying to yourself, which I respect. You are entitled to that. But why are you lying to other people? Why move goalposts and act like criticism is an attack? Why pretend a single other game released was in this piss poor estate? How did they do it? How did they come out and not have this many issues? Even with the landfill that this game was at release, all fans wanted was a lousy letter or a call. And I hope you know we ripped all of your pictures off the wall. Subscribe to me on Twitch, by the way. And here on YouTube as well, you can keep notifications on. Blood Owl. Yeah, I say stuff like Blood Owl now. Patching this game is like putting a band-aid on a severed limb. The devs rushing in here with defibrillators like after two months, talking about where's the body? And we're handing them like a funeral program like, here lies Marvel's Avengers. 
it had a short life. Sickness consumed it. It was premature, you see. But the poor decisions of negligent pa- You get what I'm saying, you know what I mean? It had dope graphics on PC, though. When it worked. Imagine, with all them particle effects, how Doctor Strange's portals would look in this game. It's been 10 years of over 20 movies, and we would have made this game's wallet as fat as Epic is through Fortnite, but the game didn't come correct. What is this? You gonna, f you gonna fix this? Don't do War Machine dirty like this. Don't do Black Panther dirty like this. Fortnite is over here embarrassing you right now. Jim Lee outfits. The same dude behind the best-selling comic book of all time. You lose Marvel's Avengers. When it comes to the look, you lose. I bought the Venom skin. I bought the Punisher bike. Fortnite's going to embarrass you with this upcoming Galactus event. The events in Fortnite are always so damn busy people can't even log in. Tune in December 1st at 4 p.m. for your chance to win my love and attention. You didn't get the MCU skins, okay, you could have had comic book skins, but you said nah. So you know what? The fan said nah, and will continue to, and it's probably too late. I see a lot of unfortunate hope that this game will be allowed to limp on for a year or even two years. Trust me when I say, this game will shamble on until Spider-Man and a next-gen release is like a fingers crossed situation at this point. This is my optimistic take right here, and I'm going to end the video on this. They mentioned crossplay in their Kate deep dive, so hopefully they can figure that out and soon. But this game needs a patrol mode, it needs a join in progress, it needs replay last mission functions, an actual social hub like Destiny's Tower. They could, they could even call it something crazy like the Avengers Tower. All the shit I've been suggesting for months, they need to dump that in. They got multiple teams working on this game. You know they need to put the Tachyon team, the one that's supposed to be flipping assets and making interim or in-between updates, you know? They need to enhance the harm rooms. Let us fight villains in these harm rooms. Even if you haven't introduced them in your stupid ass story missions yet, yeah, throw them in there. Let us fight the villains in there. Let us fight multiple villains at one time in there. Let us fight heroes in this room. Let us change the environment to locations that should have been in the game. Asgard, Atlantis, Savage Lands, the deck of a helicarrier. Let us choose the same hero at least for some of these harm room sessions. Let us set modifiers so we can test our builds. Allow us to have endless modes where it just continues and you get resources or comics or even patterns at certain waves. Your harm room is where the creativity and imagination in this game should run wild. Fortnite does this kind of shit with its limited time modes. Some of the modes suck, and if they suck, they suck. But if people love it, then there you go. Lejeune may be the dancing shill that you're looking for to be the face of this game right now, but I implore you, Get yourself a real gamer to suggest or even borrow modes from popular, functional games. Make it replayable, make it rewarding, make it something worth coming back for. These characters and visions have existed longer than the people working on this project, and I know they're gonna exist long after you. I hope you begin to handle them with the respect that they deserve. People think I'm angry? Nah, bro, that's passion. I'm honestly ashamed. I'm an eager onlooker at this point, curious to see what comes next for this game. Angry is what I would be if Insomniac Games didn't exist to properly execute on a phenomenal and fantastic, no pun intended, Marvel product. I'm actually going to wait until I have a PlayStation 5 before I jump into Miles Morales. Maybe someday, because it doesn't look like I'm getting one soon. Before I leave you, I'm going to drop a dose of reality that I feel every fan needs to hear. In an article detailing how Marvel's Avengers still has not recouped development costs, Square Enix president Yosuke Matsuda stated, 
sales of Marvel's Avengers were lower than we had expected and unable to completely offset the amortization of the game's development costs. Operating losses totaled 7 billion yen, which is about 67 million US dollars for this segment in the company's last quarter. As for whether Square Enix couldn't have anticipated the reasons for lower sales and done something in advance, Matsuda replied, We engaged in ample preparations ahead of the launch, but it is true that there were aspects in which we were wanting. We intend to leverage the lessons we learned from this experience in future game development affairs. I am a fan, but I'm not a moron. This game is operating at a loss. Not good. It hasn't gotten better, and what it needs to get better, better loot, modes, more villains, heroes, Marvel locations, it's colossal. An overhaul necessary, colossal. There's no normie appeal here. Two archers, more robots, and a bearded hulk? Expensive skins and takedowns that you couldn't give away? That's what your game looks like on the surface. Even with the upcoming updates, you still shit the bet at launch, and you'll never get another chance at a first impression. There will forever be people who view this as the stunt double, Avengers. As for the fans who are going to return regardless of whatever you put out, are they going to be forced to play alone if they all want to try Kate? Are you enabling multiplayer Mega Hives finally, or should they be playing alone for hours still? You raising the faction reputation and adding new rewards? You gonna keep ignoring fans and staying quiet about what specifically you're working on to the point where people just keep asking and suggesting the same stuff every day until inevitably they just give up and stop playing your stale, dusty representation of a live service that's less than what we received six years ago. This is you. You can't seriously be asking yourself why you're not making any money. It's the way you're handling this. Crystal Dynamics better start talking while the 2% of the PC population still remains. By the time you're ready to unveil whatever surprises you're hiding for whatever reason, there will somehow be even less people than right now to give a shit. This is your path to the future. This is what players actually want. But I completely expect you to take a different path. I completely expect you to only focus on the bootlickers and ball slurpers because they'll kiss your cheek even if it's the cheek on the back of ya. So the real question is what will you fumble next, Crystal Dynamics? What will you nerf? What will you break? Will you raise the power level or introduce something that plays poorly with the laundry list of things that need to be fixed before you implement more? Boy, I can't wait. You want to ban people who have constructive criticism? You want to ignore people who know better than you? They won't have to say I told you so. They'll just sit and enjoy. The schadenfreude comes from you. You had your chances. And look at you now. So, it's fantastic to see what something wonderful can turn into in the wrong hands. To all of the people who listened up until this point, thank you for watching. The Discord link is in the description. If you want more of these videos, comment in the comment section what I should be talking about. I read all of that and I respect your opinions and criticism because I'm an adult. Ooh, Kid Annie. Ba -ba 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 Follow me here and on Twitch if you're trying to hear this voice daily, but when it comes to Marvel's Avengers, boy, y'all gonna be waiting a hot minute before anything gets spicy. Hmm. 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 Hmm.